this video we are going to focus on algebraic fractions and we will just do the introduction. You will find this on page 110 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In this section we will learn about algebraic fractions of the form P over Q where P and or Q are algebraic expressions and Q cannot be equal to zero. So the denominator cannot be zero. Examples of algebraic fractions are this, this, this and this. Remember that the value of the denominator of an algebraic fraction cannot be zero because division by zero is invalid. Therefore, in the examples of algebraic fractions above, we know A cannot be zero because then the fraction becomes zero. B cannot be negative two, then it will be negative 10 plus 10, which will also make it zero. C cannot be negative one, then it will be zero and it's division by zero. And the same, D cannot be negative seven, then this will become zero, and then I have division by zero. For simplification in this section, we will assume that the value of the denominator is non-zero. We can add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions in algebra in the same way we do in simple arithmetic. Okay, a few cancelling rules in algebraic fractions. We can only cancel if there is one term over one term. We can only cancel if there's a multiplication sign between the brackets. You or between, uh, between the term on, in, um, on top or bottom. You cannot cancel any top with any bottom joined by multiply as long as there are no plus, you can cancel it, as long as there are no plus or minus sign in the expression, unless they are in brackets and you can cancel the bracket. You may not cancel into a bracket, either cancel the whole bracket or nothing. This is very important. Factorizing to make an algebraic expression one term. So you can factorize and then you will get one term. So factorize make two or three or four terms one term and that helps you with the cancelling out. Let's look at an example. Okay, the first one. Simplify each of the following algebraic fractions. Now, it's two terms over two, so I cannot cancel out. But I can factorize to make it one term over one term. I take out, or in the, in the top, I just put a bracket. Bottom, um, I'm taking out negative one in order to change the signs. And then I cancel out, and then my final answer will be negative one. In this, it's difference between two squares, so it's x plus two, x minus 2 and in this is a trinomial group B so this is I factorize and then I cancel and that will be my final remember you cannot cancel that x with that x because it's inside the bracket only a full bracket can cancel a full bracket which if they are identical okay so let's start I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A, okay? And I want you to do, let's see if we find, and I want you to do number B, C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Um, number 24, number A. So if I'm going to write it here, I'm going to start by saying x squared minus 1 over x squared minus x. Okay, this is difference between two squares, so it's going to be x plus 1, x minus 1. And in this case, I take it out as a common factor, so it's going to be x minus 1. And then I'm going to cancel, cancel, and my final answer is going to be x plus 1 over x. And remember, you cannot cancel because there's two terms on top. 
If I look at number C, so this is going to be B squared minus 5B over B squared minus 3B minus 10. In this case again, I'm going to take out B, so it's going to be B minus 5. This is a trinomial, so there was a common factor. It's in group B. Do you see? It's in group B. Do it here on the side. It's just say, and, and you don't have to write all the factors. Now you're good in factorization. So you just write 5 and 2, and there's a 1, and 1 and 1. So 5 minus 2 will give me 3. And the biggest overcross product, which will be this one, will take the middle sign, and this one, and then this is going to be B. B. And then I'm going to just write it's B minus 5B plus 2. Okay, and then I'm going to cancel, cancel. And my final answer will be B over B plus 2. And again, remember, you cannot cancel that B's because there's two terms. You can only cancel if it's one term over one term. Okay. Let's look at another example. Um, if you look at this one, again, just take out a common factor, but this one, it's grouping, okay? But be careful. A lot of students go, if they come to this step, they say, oh, this is so nice. Cancel, cancel, cancel. No, it's not correct. You, this is two terms. You have to make it one term over one. Continue with the second step of grouping by taking out that bracket, that common bracket. And as soon as you are at this step, you can cancel. And that will be your final answer. So remember, wrong working, even if your answer will be correct, wrong working will be penalized. Okay, I want again you to stop the video and I want you to do number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so number B. So in this case, it's going to be x squared minus xz plus xy minus yz over 2xy plus xz minus 2 y, z, minus z, square. Okay, it looks like grouping, grouping. So let's just start with that groupings. So take out x, and you are going to get x minus z. Now there's a positive, don't worry too much about your signs, it will work out. So it will also be x minus z. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Take out x, and it will be 2, oh, let's just get it will be 2y plus z. But now, be careful, there's a negative. So take out z, and it will be 2y. And now a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Don't cancel anything. Go to the second step of grouping. So in this case, I'm going to take out the common bracket. So it's x minus z, and it's x plus y and I take out it's going to be 2y plus z and it's going to be x minus z and now now for the first time you can go and cancel out so just remember that z it seems to me that it's disappeared so I cancel cancel and then my final answer will be that two brackets so it will be x plus y, and it will be 2y plus z. That will be my final answer. In the next video, we will focus on multiplication and division of algebraic fractions.